Hello and welcome to the HiDoc YouTube channel. I'll show you the latest features of the Windows ISO downloader, HiDoc Windows ISO downloader today. If you don't know the tool, I'll put a download link down in the description. So this tool basically allows you to, to download directly from Microsoft servers uh, many kinds of Windows and Office installation disks and files. And um, let's have a look at the Windows 7 options because um, I frequently get the question, where can I get the downloads that are not on the list here? For example, Windows 7 Starter is missing here, Windows 7 Home Basic as well, and some language editions are temporarily unavailable sometimes, it happens. Um, so people want to download these and they keep asking me. Um, and in the latest release, I've added the option to create a, um, a Windows 7 all-in-one installation disk that can install all Windows 7 editions. So let's have a look. I downloaded um, one file already, Windows 7 Pro SP1 English 32-bit. Let's have a look at the directory structure. In the sources folder, there's the file ei.cfg. Here it is. Let's have a closer look at that. So the disk itself, the ISO file, contains the installer for all Windows 7 editions, Starter, Home, Pro and Ultimate. Um, and this file, ei.cfg, restricts the options that you have for installing. So in this example here, you can install Windows 7 Professional on the retail channel only. So what we want to do is get rid of this file. The second file is the cversion.ini. So this file determines from which Windows version you can install without losing all your installed programs and all your documents, all your files. So in this example here, the version you need to have is Windows build um, 7601. 7, if the original Windows version is below that, all your programs, files, etc. will be lost. Uh, of course, during installation you will get a warning, but nevertheless, if, you, if we manage to delete this file, get rid of this file, um, there's no, no more restriction anymore, and installed programs will always remain. Um, Okay, to proceed, I will need to close this. Uh, let's go to ISO tools. It's one of the new links on the home screen of the ISO downloader. You choose the downloaded ISO file. It takes a few seconds because it will calculate the hash of the file and analyze which, which Windows version it actually is. Uh, and it will display all the information in here. So that's kind of double checking that the download went okay and that this is indeed a genuine, untouched, unadulterated Windows 7 ISO file. So almost there. Once the check is complete, we can remove the two files. So here we are already, everything's fine and the information that's displayed here uh, makes makes sure that this is a genuine Windows 7 ISO directly from, from Microsoft, untouched. So we use these two checkboxes here, remove the ei.cfg and remove the cversion.ini. So this was already it. Um, if I open this again with Windows Explorer, go to the Sources folder, C version is gone, EI.CFG is gone. So, mission accomplished. This is a, now a Windows 7 all in one installation disk and we've removed all the upgrading restrictions from previous Windows versions. So how did it work? 
actually it only set two, um, two deletion bits in the file table for these two files. So if you ever, for whatever reason, want your original ISO file back, you load it again into the ISO tools, remove the flag from the two checkboxes, it will restore the two files and uh, it's, it's still an original um, Windows 7 ISO file directly from Microsoft. So, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, see you next time.